characters are actual human beings. Best way to research and test your character is in real life. So the world perceives me as a villain, but I see myself as a hero. Welcome, my name is Bonko Koza and you're watching my Masterclass for Character Development brought to you by Showmax and Actor Spaces. Stick around. So, how do we create characters? I think the first thing for actors to realize is that characters are as unique as they are. The first step to understanding a character is is giving your character life to live. I mean, most times we get a script and we look at the bio and we're like, okay, they said he's tough, angry, and what, what, and we, we, we forced to extract an entire human being from, from a page or from what you've been told. So the first step to understanding a character is learning how to be human. Um, you have to live your own life. You have to live your own life fully um, in order to understand yourself and in order to under understand yourself in a way where you can use yourself to create a, another whole human being. As actors, we should always be a student of um, human behavior and also experts of the human experience. So you have to live life first in order to be able to tap into characters or to understand someone else's uh, circumstance. So one thing you must understand is your character is a human being. Yes, they are born or come your way through words on a page, but this is an actual human being who was born somewhere, who has parents, who maybe has siblings, who lived in a certain neighborhood. Um, and even that is quite generic, you really have to be specific. So if he lived in a neighborhood, what house, what street, who are his neighbors, who, you know, who, who did they like to hang around with? Did they like to go buy bread? You know, how, what was their relationship with their parents? A lot of specific things that you, you, you need to, you need to know. And, and, I, and I say specific, I mean specific to the actual human being. We can't ex expect our characters to endure Obviously writers will write these crazy circumstances for the human being to like jump off a building or save, but deep down, that person is a normal human being and wakes up, you know, at a certain time of the day, goes to bed at a certain time of the day. Your job as an actor is to, is to figure out what those elements are and how specific can you be to creating an actual human being. And what's gonna help you with that is research biggest one of the second biggest part about understanding characters or bringing characters to life is research researching um, where they grew up where are they from who 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 you know who who's their best friend who is their enemy who 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 do they love what's their favorite color um, these will help research will help you find all those those details about your character and research could be anything from reading a book from uh, going online, from speaking to people. You know, if, you, if, if, if you're, you're playing a character of a film set in apartheid, you know, the part of your research would to speak to someone who was around during apartheid times. Um, if your job is to play a cop, part of your job is to, is to go speak to a cop and go to a police station and find out how do cops live, you know, because you're coming from, as an actor, you're also a human being and you're coming from your own experiences. So it would be, it would be wrong for us to assume that our experiences, my experience as Bonko, um, without any research can work in playing someone like Umkele or someone like 
um, you know, uh, Nkosi was, you know, some, some, you know, whatever roles I've played. So research is very, very important. A big part of your research is, since we've established that, the, that characters are actual human beings, best way to research and test your character is in real life. So if you can't walk to the shop and buy bread as your character, it's going to be tough to convince me as a viewer in a different circumstance. And it sounds crazy, but the work we do is crazy, yeah. <laughs> you know, so once you've found your character, you feel like you're in a good place with your character, test it. Test it. Go, go to the shop. Uh, go greet a perfect stranger in, in your character and see if it works and if it lands. Um, yeah, testing your character in real life is is one of the most important, um, one of the most valuable ways of, of, of assessing your character and testing the strength of your character. A big part of characters oh, that actors also need to, um, that I, I personally feel could help actors a lot is asking themselves who is their character outside of the context they've been given. We have to find out who is this guy before the scene? Who is this guy when he's not in the scene? Who is this guy in a whole nother movie? Who is this guy if I had to put him, you know, somewhere else? Or if I had to catch him wake up, you know? Um, all those details that are not in the script is your actual job. Um, so yeah, I think also establishing who your character is outside of the work, some, something I, 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 I enjoy doing is, pulling a script from somewhere else and reading it in my character. Um, so I'll take a script from iRobot to Will Smith and play them, play the lines as Mkhe, you know, and that helps me start solidifying the strength of Mkhe in any circumstance. And I think that's when you do that, you're, you're, you're a step closer to developing a really solid character that pops on, on camera. So when you're interrogating your character, you've, you've done your research, you've found out, or you've made choices about where they stay, where they live, you know, what kind of background this person's from. What the brief will do, when most actors get a script, you'll get, um, they'll describe the character for you. That's not your job. You know, that, that job has been done for you. Your job is now to find another bunch of adjectives. Now, I, I like to do them in, in sections, right? So the first one would be to describe how the world sees your character. So if, if, if you know, Mkhele had to walk in right now, what would we all think? What would you think as the actor if your character had to walk in the room and sit right next to you? How would you describe this person? Uh, he's chubby, or he's skinny, he's tall, he's anxious, whatever it may be. And then once you've done describing how you know, the world and you would perceive this person, you then figure out how this person sees themselves, which is a much more important thing, right? So you've got to figure out how the world sees your character versus how the character sees themselves is in a very important exercise because you will begin to see differences uh, in those things. Um, we, we spend our lives as human beings, as you and me, trying to prove to the world who we are, which, which says to us that the world doesn't allow us to be ourselves. So you've got to ask yourself, in a world that doesn't want me to be me, who am I at that point in time? I think a lot of actors, when they get a, a villain role, they go against it with the one side. They play it how, how the world sees the character. And obviously, if you've been cast as the bad guy in this world, your job is not to play to that because everyone else is already doing that work for you. Your job is to say, if I'm a person who does bad things, how would I justify doing bad things or, or you know, how, how, what would make you as the person to do those things? And you often find it's a purely, you know, 
maybe justifiable reason um, you get the you get the saying that people who do bad things for good reasons or the anti-hero you know the it makes makes a much more interesting character when I'm pushing against a world that doesn't want to see me for who I am so yes I'm doing bad things but you don't know that I'm doing it for my daughter or you know, I'm doing it for my sick mother. So the world perceives me as a villain, but I see myself as a hero. So it's, a, it's very helpful to know the differences between how the world and all the other characters see, perceive your character, and how the character perceives themselves. And you feel like you're ready. You take on a role, you do the research. Um, you find, okay, cool, this guy's from KZN, I know that, he's from this town in KZN, he's in the taxi business, he, you know, uh, and you go to the rank, you go to the taxi rank, you immerse yourself in the experience, you have all that work that's kind of, uh, you know, still ideas or, you know, ideas on paper. Now, it's time to put it on, right? Or it's time to assume this character. Physicality is, physicality is like, essential because you could be playing ideas in your head but you're not expressing them with your actors too so then more questions you kind of got to ask yourself still in the vein of how does the world perceive this person and 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 how does how do they perceive themselves i mean it's it's a step-by-step -step process you've done the work you've done the research you've done all you possibly can on paper to define this character that you want to play you know where he lives, you've figured out, you know, what's his favorite drink, you've figured out, you know, what he has with his coffee in the mornings. You've done all the work. But that work pretty much means nothing until you're able to physically embody that character. So, first thing I do, once I've figured out, you know, all the other nuances and details, is I try to figure out how he would dress. Let's take Mkhele for an instance. Um, Mkhele is a character from a book who has been described to be a man who wears tracksuits more than normal people. So I would just put on the tracksuits. There you go. Now part of it, getting him dressed in the tracksuit is smaller details which I feel, you know, adding a personal touch. What kind of a top would he wear? I went for the Lacoste. Taxi driver style golf shirt. Oh wait, don't forget about the cap. Let's put a cap on him. There you go. So this is how Mkhele would dress based on the research that I've done. The book says his guy wears tracksuits, put him in a tracksuit. Uh, he's part of the taxi industry. Golf shirts are pretty popular in the taxi industry. Put on a cap on him. It pretty much works. It looks like the taxi driver, Zulu guy. Now the next thing is to decide how he moves, how he walks. Um, you know, how he handles the space. I'm gonna try it a few things. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. Try it again. That's looking much better. Okay, okay, cool, you can walk. So he can walk, we know how he dresses, uh, and we know how he walks. Now we're going to try to figure out how he sounds. What accents does he have? Does he have a deep voice? Does he have a squeaky voice? Remember, this is all based on how, number one, how the world sees our character and how the character sees himself. So let's try it a few, a few voices. See. That sounds right. I think I just keep it there. Keep that one. I'm going to use that one. We know how he dresses, figured out how he walks. Now we know how he sounds. 
And I think at this point, one will be ready to go on set. Don't forget your lines. all in all, what's to be said about creating characters is I think the, the actor has to really get to a point where they themselves are having an experience as opposed to trying to give the audience an experience. They're you know, acting and performing and you know, kind of show and tell and you being on a stage engaging with the audience can quickly make one perform and show and give and project energy that way. Where I think to do good work with characters, you have to do all the work that I told you, your research and all of that, and bring it in. And trust that you having an experience with yourself is enough for, for you to carry us through the story. As opposed to you telling us that I'm a bad guy, look at me, this is me, I'm a bad guy, I'm the villain here, don't forget, I'm the villain here. Whereas, if you're dealing with your own experience, you're having your own experience, it's much more, it's much more interesting to watch. Good luck, be brave, and yeah, keep chasing your wildest dreams.